Cheetah is one of the oldest cats, and its early relatives, actually, were found throughout about five continents in the world. We believe that they may have originated in North America and then crossed over the land bridge into China and populating not only China, but all of Europe, and then down into Africa and Asia. Though the cheetah did go through a population bottleneck, and it actually escaped the Pleistocene extinction. And that was um, probably about 12,000 years ago, leaving this species of cheetah, which is called Asinonic jubatus, really in a very small number. And all of the cheetahs that we know of today actually bred back from a very small number of animals and then repopulated only Africa and Asia and Europe at that point in time. Obviously, that population throughout the range has declined drastically, in particular the last hundred years. But the cheetah went through, I would say, you know, two population bottlenecks, that of the Pleistocene extinction around 12,000 years ago, and then again around 5,000 years ago when humans found out that cheetahs were a um, interesting wild animal, one that could be more easily tamed than a lion or a leopard, and found that they would make good hmm, pets maybe to royalty. So pharaohs would have them, kings and emperors would have them. The problem was that the cheetah didn't breed well in captivity. And so from that, although they were taking the animals from the wild, they would take cubs, they would even take adults and they would teach them how to hunt with them. They were a hunting companion and um, they didn't breed in captivity. So they actually loved the cheetah to near extinction.